Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we making birria tacos, one of my favorite tacos. And we using beef today, okay? We're not using lamb, we're not using none of that. We using beef. Birria is basically like a meat stew. And you can cook it with like lamb, chicken, beef, I think um, a goat. But like I said, we only doing beef today. I know it might seem like it's a lot, but I promise it's not a lot and it's real easy. But without further ado, let's get into these tacos. Hey y'all, first thing we're gonna do is wash our meat. We already know that part. All right, so I see some people just go ahead and season their meat with salt and pepper, but y'all know we are not doing that today, right? So. What we're gonna do is season it with one tablespoon of seasoning salt. We're gonna go one tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of onion powder. Now, I'm gonna go in with this Kinder's uh, steak blend. Y'all can use like some beef seasoning or anything like that. Or you can just stop here, really. You're like, So, we're gonna go in with a tablespoon of this. We're gonna add some olive oil to it, about a tablespoon. Rub that in. Right, and then we're just gonna flip it over and do the same thing. All right, now we're gonna take this over to the pan. We're gonna sear it. All right, so we're gonna add a couple teaspoons of olive oil. Maybe like two teaspoons or so. Just to coat the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna add the meat. We're gonna sear it on both sides for maybe three to five minutes. We'll be back in like three minutes to see what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna do a check. Let me, let me hold y'all like this so we can just check it real quick. We got a nice sear on that side. We're gonna let it sear on that side. So let's check this side. We got a good sear on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and add our water in here. We're gonna do about four quarts of water. I forgot to let y'all know that y'all can go ahead and use chicken broth. I completely, completely forgot. But you can use chicken broth or you can use water. All right, so this is about it. I'm gonna place a lid on this. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, cut the onion and some garlic put it in here. Okay. So we're gonna cut this onion in half. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. Then we're gonna cut this onion, but we're gonna we're gonna dice this one. This is just because I want some pieces in my in my meat. We're gonna push this aside and get our garlic ready. All right, we're gonna use one head of garlic. We just gonna peel it and we just gonna drop the whole thing in there. Okay, I'm gonna cut this tip part off. So we can get it open like that. So we're gonna go ahead and drop all of this in the pot. All 
All right, we're gonna put the lid on and let this cook for about an hour and we'll come back and check it. Have this on high heat. We're trying to bring it to a boil and then we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. So I'm still waiting on it to boil. All right, so we're just gonna take some of these. It don't really matter how many. Hold on, let me get these open. We got some of these. Take about four of these. Well. Since these are smaller, I'm probably gonna use a little bit more of these. Now I'm gonna take the stems off and try to get as many seeds out as possible. These uh, I ain't I probably won't. I do my best. Just cut the stems off of these. I got this bowl because I'm trying, I'm gonna try to contain these seeds. You can open it up like that and just kind of dump it the best way you can. Put that to the side and just do all of them. All right, so even if I had to break it open and try to get as many seeds out as possible, I did. So just try to keep it though intact because you want to take these out whole because we're going to blend it once we boil it. What I found that's a little helpful with these little ones is that, um, let's see, let's get one that might be, you can tear it down the middle and just kind of try to pour it like that. But it do take some time. So if y'all don't mind it being spicy or y'all don't mind the seeds, I'll keep the seeds in there. All right, so I have a cheesecloth, y'all. It's not necessary to use this. If y'all wanna go ahead and just drop the peppers inside the pot, but you just gonna have to fish it out. So that's the only reason why I'm using this because I don't wanna have to fish out every last piece. So we're gonna put the peppers in here. All right, so we're down to 30 minutes left on this hour. We're gonna add our peppers in here to boil for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna add one cinnamon stick. All right, so we are gonna season this a little bit more with a little more seasoning salt. It's the same seasons we seasoned the meat with y'all. This is the beef seasoning. Black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Tablespoon of everything, just like the first time. All right, it's been 30 minutes. We're gonna remove the peppers, because we're about to blend them. Okay, we're gonna take a cup of this for blending. Okay, we're gonna open this. We're gonna dump the contents of the peppers that's hot as heck in the bag. I mean, in the, the cup, you know, in the blender. All right, so we took some of the garlic, I forgot to show y'all this, my bad. And we're gonna also add it in here as well. All right, so we're gonna add a teaspoon of oregano. Oh. 
on the king. And a teaspoon of chicken glue. Take the strainer. We're gonna pour some of it in here. Like that. We're gonna have to push it out. And we're just gonna do this whole thing until it's done. All right, we could just take the rest of this and just dump it. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of vinegar, y'all. All right, now I'm gonna find the cinnamon stick and remove it. By now, you should be able to smell it. We're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna let this rock out for an hour or an hour and a half. All right, we got this on medium to high, y'all. That's what we're gonna do. The timer, I'm gonna put the timer on an hour and 30. All right, so we already cut the, we cut um, one half, we cut one half of this purple onion right here. Now we're gonna cut some cilantro. All right, so we're gonna flip this aside. Then we just gonna cut our lime as well. All right, y'all, this is the cheese that we're using. We're gonna shred this. We're gonna use it for the, the tacos. Put it the cheese, this is how it looks, y'all. I'm also gonna use mozzarella. I forgot to tell y'all, we're gonna go ahead and uh, dump the rest of these seeds. We're just gonna throw it away. All right, it's been a full hour, so it's been two hours total. Total, it's been two hours. We're gonna go ahead and check on this meat. I'm, I'm sure it's done now. make sure yeah it's ready make sure that all the meat I'll take some of this juice for our tacos just gonna shred this chicken up just like this I mean, I said chicken, y'all. I meant this beef. Uh, I'm always shredding chicken. This is about how thick I like mine. I'm gonna take some of this meat, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Not too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, we're gonna use corn tortillas. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna add some oil in here. Just at the bottom. Just like that. Let it heat up so I can move it around. There's a lot going on. Moving this, this pot right here just so I can show y'all real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the tortilla inside this sauce, but I'm gonna do it on the side where y'all can't see. Y'all see that? And then I'm gonna bring it from over here Add it to this pot. Add some mozzarella. Other cheese as well. Y'all gotta move fast. Add some meat. And you wanna just carefully flip it like that. You wanna smash it down. Look it. Here y'all, I'm gonna throw some onions in my soup right here. I'm also gonna throw my cilantro that I cut in there. We're gonna throw some on top as well. We got some limes. Okay, we're gonna do a teaspoon on this one.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My bad, I got so excited. I didn't even dip it. So we're gonna squeeze the lime on there. nothing but some little mini quesadillas but i will say that those peppers really do give it a different flavor with that um cinnamon stick so y'all as usual y'all know the ingredients is in the description below and also the grocery list let me know what y'all want to cook what y'all want to eat and what y'all want to learn hit that subscribe button